Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now in this video I want to talk to you about the different components in the car and the consumption that they have. With the new update 0783, so the ME 2.0 update, what's nice is that you now have a better display before it just shows even number, uh, not even number, so 1, 2, 3 and 4, now you have a decimal more so like right, right now 0 0.2 i know kilowatt hours per hour is a stupid unit it should be just kilowatt but what Volkswagen is trying to do that for if you are in this situation right now for an hour your battery will be depleted by 0 0.2 kilowatt hours that's what they're trying to do the car is completely off there's no light on there is the climate is off everything's off it's just this screen and the instrument cluster and it's using 200 watts what exactly if it's 250 290 i don't know when it's rounding up i have no idea let's turn on the light by turning the ignition on light is on and we have 300 watts so now all lights are on. Okay, we know that. Turn the lights off. Yes, and it goes down. So, but I, again, I don't know if it was 250 and then go to 300 or it was 180 and goes to 320. I don't know. So I'm just going with this. Um, next thing, seat heater. I will put on my seat heater on full. 100 watts. I've heard from some people that the seat heater should take 500 watts or so. No, I've never seen. I did, uh, I looked at the consumption before. So even on high, and the, the, the seat is cold right now, so it's, it's using full power, it's only 100 watts. So this is not a thing that is uh, interesting or, or a big consumption. What is, let's put the car in low, but no AC and have the fan on one and again you can see barely any change the fans are ramping up I put the fan now on full and here we have 100 watts 200 watts now it's on full that's all the car can give me okay so you know that back to normal and now I want to show you something that I've seen that was interesting I put it to 22 degrees heating will start and I have it in eco so it just should heat my side and that's now 1.6 1.7 kilowatt will it be more but what is interesting to me is that this consumption is affected by how strong the fan is on. If I put this higher, the consumption goes up. And it's not just, you can see, 2.6, 2.8, 3 kilowatt for heating. And now, What's even more interesting, I will put 3.2, it's around the number, I will put the eco here off. And it doesn't change, just a tiny bit, 200 watts more for just heating up where I'm sitting and then heating up the whole car. So I don't think the eco is working. <laughs> I really don't think so. Put the fan to a normal speed and you can see that the consumption will go down. I really don't think this eco is working, but we'll try it again. Uh, now it's taking 2 kilowatt. Will it stay there? I think so. To get back to the eco, you turn off the climate, turn it back on, and it's in eco, 22 degrees. It, it showed 2.2. Let's see where it will go now. Now we're in eco here. And just it should just heat my driver's uh, side, just my the seat here, to save energy. Does it do that? Huh. 
but now it does it, no? <laughs> yeah, 1.4, it just slowly goes back up to the same number, huh? 1.7. Before it was 2.2. But maybe it's also getting warmer in here and doesn't need that full power. But 400 watt less. But before, when it was warm, there's no change. But we'll do that again. 1.8. And now we'll turn on the whole car. Let's look. It barely any change. I don't think it works yet. That's that's almost no change. 300 watt more. That that's not it. <laughs> um, but let's turn on the seat heater on full. Turn on the lights. So seat heater is really not a big of a deal. The same as with the lights. When the I've seen this number be at almost 10 kilowatt while standing when the battery heater is also on. So when the car is really cold inside and the battery is cold, then this can go up to 10 kilowatt. <laughs> and there's no button or anything to change the battery heating. It just does it by itself. You, you can't do anything about it. Yes, I will put the fan a bit down. I will go like this. And I would have it in 24. The last thing I want to test, if it does anything, let's go back to this, is I want to change my drive mode. It's in comfort. I will go to individual, where it should use eco, or, or I just go to eco, let's do it like this. But let's wait till it goes to, the normal, to a normal number and stand there. The whole car is be heated to 22 degrees. 2.2 kilowatts. So, so over, I always deduct the 200 watts that it just needs to be alive. But like you see, 2.2, 2.3. And now let's put it in eco. Ooh. It, does it go down? Yes, it does go down. It goes down. And what if I go to individual where I have set air conditioning to eco and ACC to eco? Does it work? It should stay at the 1.9. It does. So it uses less heat. That's good. Now let's try the eco thing again. Turn it on. Drive is in eco. Just annoying that it takes so long to ramp up again and start heating. It was just at 1.9. It should just uh, heat up my area. Is it then better? It is. Oh, maybe it takes a while to go high. But it's only taking 1.2, 1.4. It's going up. It just takes so long when you turn it on. And by the way, the, the, the sensor for the temperature in the car is under the vents. So it's down here. I know that from the OBD dongle because in the OBD dongle there will be a special video. I can see the temperature inside and when I touch that sensor it gets warmer. But now 1.8 again. But the Eco is definitely doing something. Let's go to Comfort again. Yes, that's doing something. So, but the eco for 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 the heat just for me doesn't seem to do anything. Being individual is more my thing. Huh. Interesting. Let's see when it will be better. But again, like I said, battery heating takes a long and that's why at short trips when the when the car is cold, you have a very high consumption. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.